This is a cell phone, and this is a microphone, and this is a lot of really loud audio beside a microphone. Could I fix it with the click of a single button? Now I've clicked that button, and you should be able to hear me just fine. Oh, and to prove, it's still playing that music right now. What are we talking about? This is voice focus, and you can use it today from Elgato. And now, wow, that was really cool. I'm going to tell you about how you can set this up and where you can go get it so that you can use it as a VST plugin on any of the audio interfaces or setups that you have, or you can even use this inside the Wave software. So let me get you started with that. Now, we have a couple things to call out before we get too far in this video. Number one, this is Elgato week, and there's a whole bunch of stuff being released this week. And today being voice focus, as well as the Wave Mic Arm Mark II, and I'll show you some images of that and everything that's there. I don't have one to show you, but there's plenty of reviews and I would encourage you to go check out any of the other people who have covered that one. Uh, I use the Wave Mic Arm Low Profile, the Pro that they have. This thing's amazing. And if it's anything of the quality of what those mic arms are, I'm sure it's going to be amazing as well. And the other call out is actually the music that we had at the very beginning of the video. This is actually Stream Beats. This is from Harris Heller and the Stream Beats Originals. You should totally, if you're a content creator or if you're a person who's trying to do any kind of live music and you don't want to deal with copyrighted music, you should go check it out. They have a whole gajillion of tracks. Harris and the team over there, I appreciate you guys making this resource available for streamers. Make it to where we can use it in our content. Anyway, let's get into this video. Also, peep my son back here doing some coloring on his thing. He might talk, he might not. So if that comes through or not, I guess that'll be the testament of voice focus or not. So as we mentioned, voice focus is included inside of Wavelink, as long as you have Wavelink 2.0 or later. And as you can see right here, if we go under the effects tab, you can see voice focus actually all the way at the top. And the big part of voice focus going between weak and strong is it's kind of like a wet dry slider. If you know anything about audio, what that really means is it basically goes ahead and does the voice focus and then it will blend on the weak side it'll blend more of the ambient sound as well as the you know the reduced sound and the more you go over to strong the more it will actually turn down the ambient sound that wasn't removed by AI and it actually will just use the strong part of it quote unquote which is just the removed part which will remove as much of the background sounds as possible and now again this is included inside Wavelink but I mentioned that you can get it as a VST you can get it for Windows or Mac and if it comes with a one time license if you don't want to use it with Wavelink and just use it with basically any other platform or program, you can totally do that. It's one-time license fee of 50 bucks. Choose your platform, you download it, whatever the case. And it is real-time local processing, no cloud, no lag. And I'm actually recording the microphone blank as well as it with voice focus. All right, so future Brandon, I'm editing this video and we're talking about processing lag. And I want to talk about how quick it's actually doing it. So I'm in the editor. This is a 60 FPS timeline. As you can see right here, we're going to count the amount of frames. This is the start of this one. This top one is the unprocessed. The bottom one is the one with voice focus. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, just over five, between five and six frames. So it's like 10 milliseconds of processing time to go from the like raw track, which is just straight off my XLR all, and then into voice focus for it to process. So it is like 10 milliseconds of processing time, which is, if you know anything about any kind of audio, that's not a lot of processing time. And it's almost almost perfect on time, which is really cool. Really good job here. And while we're here, a couple of other really quick shout outs that you can do is you can add other effects like an Elgato compressor or EQ. And there's some that are built in here from Elgato. You can see the Elgato compressor EQ and then their original noise removal that wasn't voice focus. And then you can also get more audio effects and add your own VSTs, which is what you can see right here. I've got a bunch of the Reaper plugins and I would encourage you if you do want to actually check out some other cool plugins that are more, you know, more more in-depth EQs and delays and controls and stuff. You can totally get these. I'll leave a link for the Reaper plugins down below. Here's actually my dog walking through too. So maybe you can hear a bounce around or maybe not. Uh, but yeah, all of those things are able to set up and you set it up in your, you know, your audio chain past this and then voice focuses at the very end of your chain. So really cool. You can record and test in platform so you can be able to tell whether or not it works or not. And again, this is all inside Wavelink. As far as a VST, it's really easy. You just download it and then attach it to your software to be able to use it. And now I do have an effects chain here. I'm going to turn it all off and then turn it right back on so you can hear it. So here is the blank chain. This is with absolutely nothing on. Here's the 
compressor being turned on. Here's the EQ post the compressor. And then here's me turning on voice focus. And you can see how each one of those things added something else to my voice. And I would encourage you to take a look at adding other effects. If you want a more dedicated video on how to maybe use Wavelink to be able to customize your voice and make it great, let me know down in the comments below. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you to Elgato for making something like this available to the community where they don't have to have a Wave product to be able to use it. And in that same case, as an Elgato ambassador, I'm really happy to be able to share with you all the really cool things that are coming from Elgato this week during Elgato week. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Check out one of these two videos, especially the low profile arm review I did right here. And you've got to check out this video right here as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.